Hi everyone, welcome to Unacademy Neat English. I'm your biology educator Ambika Sharma. And today's video is for my girls aspirant. Right, it's a much needed video for all the girls, those who are preparing for Neat 2024 examination. Right, first of all, I want to say all the best to all of you. I know this preparation journey, it is not so easy. Right, not even for the girls, not for the boys. Right, we are under tremendous pre pressure. Right, we have to prove ourselves. Sometimes, you know, our parents are supportive, but sometimes we uh, we just fight for this chance. Right, from our parents. So I know that pressure and everything. Right, and I know boys, they also they equally face such things. But in the case of girls, you know that our physiology is different from the boys. Right, when we are under immense stress, pressure, you know that it affects our biological clock. It affects our periods it affects our menstrual cycle as well so during this preparation time when you are under immense pressure when you have to when you have to sit for you know eight hours ten hours to revise the things and uh, when you know that you have to prove yourself right and i know all that things all that stress it even affects your periods right I think all the girls can relate, right? And uh, I know some of you are having your periods right now. Some of you might be get your periods, your chums uh, near to this fourth or fifth of my, right? And during this preparation cycle also, I know how painful it is, right? Um, honestly, I'll share something with you. Like my younger sister, she, she experienced a lot of pain during her menstrual cycle. Like she is not able to get up from the bed okay she's not able to sit she's not able to eat and i know when you are preparing and when you have such condition how difficult it is to manage because you know that every month you are going to give at least you are kind of you are going to waste your three to four days every month okay so cheers to all, all of you kudos to all of you because you are you are not thinking about anything else and you are giving your best and you are my students and i believe you are not going to use this thing as an excuse because it is a natural process and i know you people are fighting with it and all the best trust me you are going to nail it okay so in this video i am as i said i'm going to provide you some uh, i'm going to tell you some things that you should take care okay the very first thing obviously it is related to the periods might be you are having your periods right now might be you will get it on your exam day or three to four days uh, like let's say now on exam day or maybe after exam day so i will suggest you one thing girls if you are expecting your periods on third of may even on fourth of may even on fifth of may i will advise you to use the pad before going for your examination right yes even if you are expecting even if you are expecting your periods around 7th may 8th may 9th may still because we are under stress right we are uh, we are under stress so anything can happen you know it very well so any kind of changes can occur so i will advise you to bear the pad okay and if you are having your menstrual cycle then please do not forget to carry your pad for the examination center okay there is no harm in that you can carry it reach the examination center on time or little before time right and convey it to that invigilator there right the one that the person who's going to you know ch uh, check all the stuff you can mention it to them right don't think that you will get your pad in the examination hall you might get but still you should carry the extra pad this is my advice this is the first thing that you need to take care secondly if you use tampon and menstrual cup that's fine but if you are thinking like let's say for your exam if you have to travel and you are thinking that you will uh, use tampon or the menstrual cup then i will advise if you are using it for the first time then please don't go for it why because might be it's irritating for you might be you'll get itching or something so if you are using pad stick to that carry extra pad with you okay if you are expecting your periods again i'm telling you use the pad right use the pad this is the first advice now let's talk about your clothes and yes as you know right i know many girls they experience you know muscular cramps they experience severe pain so i'll suggest one more thing to you right if it is the emergency you can take this medicine meptil spas it is to treat the menstrual pain right right now during your uh, right now like today it is the first of may if still you are having the muscular cramp you can use this medicine right it will it will give you some relief okay but only in the case of emergency you need to use that you can carry it as well and i'll suggest you to drink lukewarm water right that will be very helpful for you 
okay drink lukewarm water you can have you know some chocolates you can have the chocolate milk as well but yeah the lukewarm water is going to help you out please take care of it right these are the two things that you need to take care now the third thing this is my advice for all of you it's purely up to you but this is my advice you already know about the dress code you know that you are not allowed to wear something very tight and very loose something which is having too many pockets let me show you this like see your upper your upper should have the round neck or weak neck it should not have too many buttons it should not be full sleeves so it should be something like this okay when you talk and it should not be too much embroidered right you should avoid such kind of clothes you can wear plain t-shirt if you know some things are written on it fine but if it is too much printed no it's not allowed if it is too much embroidered it is not allowed please take care of it and when it comes to the slippers you know that you can wear some these kind of slippers right shoes heels they are not allowed and when you are talking when you talk about the bottoms as i said right as i said it should not be too tight it should not be too loose guys i'll suggest you one thing when you talk about your bottoms now right go for dark colors why because if you have periods and uh, you know you think that you might get stained sometimes what happen you are going to go for your examination hall of course you are going to change your pad before your test right but maybe you have heavy flow and uh, during that time period you are thinking that maybe there is some leakage or something so you will be conscious if you will wear something light right you will be conscious about that stain and all so this is just my suggestion as an elder sister that please wear dark cl color clothes okay right that will give you the confidence even if your bottom will be stained you will not feel embarrassed though you should not feel embarrassment even if it is light stained but theek hai we cannot avoid this kind of psychology you know that right so many predators are there they are looking here and there they are just they just want to to make fun of the things so to avoid such situation you can go for something dark colored dark colored bottoms you should prefer and again i will say we are very simple clothes because obviously you are not going for a fashion show right you don't you are not going there to show how good your clothes are obviously you are going for an examination so be easy be comfortable right you should feel confident that is what you need to take care so again i'm telling metal spas this is something that you can wear now but a few years back around 2 to 3 years back 2 years back exactly right you might know that news that in some examination centers right girls they they obviously they wear bra right so in that bra the hooks are there so when you pass from that metallic detectors now obviously they are going to beep so what happened uh, in some examination centers they asked the girls to remove their bra or to show them whether they have the metallic hooks or something else is there so in such situation you you'll feel under confident you'll feel uh, anxious right so to avoid such situation i'll suggest you you can wear sports bra because sports bra they are without hook okay they don't have that metallic hook and even be please take care of this uh, this thing right your undergarment should not have any hook or something like that right if you don't wear sports bra then it is not mandatory that you have to buy it okay fine you can reach to the examination center now they are quite uh, you know they take care of such things now you are not going to experience such things where they are going to ask you to remove bras and something but still i'll tell you i'll suggest you if you can wear sports bra very good otherwise if you are wearing bra where instead of uh, you know metal plastic hooks are there that is also good for you okay so this is something i want to suggest you and trust me believe in yourself now time has changed we are also getting the equal opportunities i won't say that uh, fairly equal opportunities but still conditions are better for us and we have to prove ourselves and we will and we are not doing it just to show that we are better than boys no there is no competition there is no such competition right we are doing everything for our existence for our quality of life we want equality that is why we are doing this thing right we want we don't just want to be someone's wife someone's daughter right no no we want some identity that is why we are preparing for such an examination that is we want that title the doctor title right bachche so you are preparing for that so all the best always remember we are not in any competition with any other gender we are doing it for ourselves so all the best take care if you need any other help do let me know in the comment section take care everyone